Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another Weapon Fighting Simulator video, guys! And we are back once again with another content, guys. And today's content, ipapakita ko sa inyo if we can defeat the level or the floor 160 boss in the, um, the tower, guys. In the infinite tower sa Demon Abyss na map. So, yesterday I uploaded the new update that they have which is the the Banshee defense game mode something <laughs> that uh, they have updated into the game. At ngayon guys, i-update ko din kayo kung ano na nangyari sa character ko and also um, I will also show you guys the Infernal Tower that we had gotten yesterday na nakuha natin yesterday. And guys, grabe! Meron silang napakagandang event ngayon sa game. Meron silang 3 times soul stone event, 3 times easter egg event, and 3 times map damage event. Men, grabe. Napaka-solid ng event na to, guys, cuz this will really help you um farm a lot of soul stone, do a lot of damage to the to the map monsters, which is really good cuz you will be able to farm a lot of soul stone. Now guys, the first thing we have to do in this video is of course open our daily wheel as part of the daily um, progress guys and I have a very good news as well guys okay so nakita ko na si Worry Bear he already has his own code dito sa weapon fighting simulator and guys a very very big news is that I am now an official content creator for weapon fighting simulator guys so ang ibig sabihin yan by next update, I will also have my code activated here in the game, which should be uh, Jason Gaming. Pero sa ngayon wala pa siya, so hindi pa siya pwede. So baka next update ma ano na nila yan. They will be able to activate that. So let's continue the spin, guys. I will na, I will be skipping this, guys. Um, ah, never mind. I, I was planning to skip this, but. Just for us to see what I'm gonna get here in the daily wheel. So, titignan natin kung ano makukuha natin sa daily wheel, guys. And I'm really excited to show you guys how we can defeat the 160 boss. Because, guys, okay, because today is reset for the tower, alright? And, last night, bago ako matulog, nakalaban ko na ang 160 boss and I was able to defeat it. Okay, I was able to defeat it guys Pero since reset ngayon Wala tayong mga tower buff Okay, so medyo mahirap yun um, But let's see if we can actually do it So since I'm able to defeat the boss Nakuha ko ng achievement I was able to get the achievement For that And that achievement is The extra weapon achievement guys It's really really Amazing because we have we now have seven weapons equipped. Yeah, basically, guys, magkita nyo dito. I have already seven over seven weapons, and here are my weapons right now, guys. So again, number one, parin yung aking infinite tower na may 178 damage, which is a uh, shiny, by the way. And uh, meron ako dito ng dalawang hindi pa shiny, and I will be able to make those shiny right now. Pero Hindi ko muna gagawin yan, guys. It's because I wanna make sure that I upgrade this to level 130, maybe uh, something like that. Para pag in-upgrade to ko siya to shiny, it will have a lot of damage already, guys. So that's the that's one tip that I can give to you guys here in Weapon Fighting Simulator. Before you upgrade to shiny, make sure that the weapon you're upgrading is a uh, high level first before you upgrade it. Kasi mahihirapan kayo, you will have a hard time upgrading it when it's already like a shiny, a shiny plus plus. So, um, before it is a shiny or shiny plus plus, you upgrade it first, okay? So, we're gonna be able to claim, um, I farm for like 5 hours, guys. So, claim natin yung ating nakuha, which is 147 eggs, 34 trillion soul stone, and a lot of spells as well. So, let's claim that. Ayan na, let's, let's claim all the spells. And all, oh my god, level 21 spell. Is that maxed out? Maxed out na ba yan? Is that maxed out? Is level 21 the, oh, it's maxed out. Oh, 50% damage. Oh my god, insane. So, 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 so. Ito nga pala yung isa sa mga napakaganda 
na nangyayari ngayon guys because I am now able to claim the eternal spell man the eternal spell the acid eruption there you go acid eruption for 1.5 billion damage guys and that is insane man that's insane that is actually crazy damage so itong cold fury hindi na natin i-equip yan kasi uh, these other spells have uh, higher damage than cold fury so meron na tayong bagong spell the acid eruption and that is gonna help us a lot sa ating journey dito sa weapon fighting simulator what is this what is this ah yung ano oh, bibili ko ng eggs okay so guys if you are just starting in Weapon Fighting Simulator, if, if you have plans in playing the game, meron kayong plano, I suggest you play today. Like, ngayon na. Okay? G dahil, meron silang Times 3 event na nangyayari ngayon, and meron silang Easter Egg event na nangyayari ngayon. If you are able to farm today, the whole day, right? Makuha kayo ng napakaraming Soul Stone, and you deal 3 times damage, which is uh, really good, because you kill the, the mobs really fast, Right? So, pag magawa nyo yun, guys, today is the best day to, to actually play the game. So, I hope you do. I hope I, I, I uh, make you play the game. So, next thing we wanna do is uh, we wanna go to... Oh, meron merchant. We wanna go to this merchant first. Oh, eternal weapon. Okay. What? Hello? Okay. Oh, eternal weapon for the merchant. Alright, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, okay. So guys, um, since meron talaga akong goal every video, guys, my goal right now is uh, if we reach 300 likes in this video, we will be giving away um, weapons to one weapon each to five viewers. Okay, so yan yung ating goal for today. Hindi ko pa na-reach na goal sa aking last video, so baka maaabot ko na yan. So we'll be claiming this. And make sure guys, you also put on the codes that I have in the description below para din makakuha kayo ng mga bonuses para sa inyo pag-farm dito sa game na to. So, next top is we are gonna go to Demon Abyss. Okay, Demon Abyss. So, here we are guys. This is our content for today and of course, we'll be claiming the box here. Meron tayong 25k uh, rank 50 plus reward. So, that's really good guys. We're now at 139,000 um, silver so that silver I will use that to upgrade my um, infinite tower which is this bibili ako nito so I'm just gonna keep that there and then nag-reset din itong ating um, season reward so we will be getting a lot of silver from that so that is good guys that is good so ang goal ko guys this season is makaabot ako dito sa dito sa top okay dito sa top Para makaabot ako dyan sa top, kailangan kong, uh, kailangan kong makaabot sa 164 um, floor. Floor 164. And napakahirap mag floor 164 because um, again, the 160 boss is is not easy. Kailangan mo talagang gumalaw. No, ito yung gusto ko sa game. You have to really um, use your skills wisely and dodge all the, the boss's skills as well. So what we're gonna do guys is papasok na ako dito sa tower and I will be back. Pag umabot na tayo sa floor 100 and uh, siguro 150. Okay, 150. Para mapakita ko din sa inyo yung ibang boss. And uh, we can showcase that in this video. So, let's go! So, guys, nandito na tayo sa floor 135. So, I, I thought that I would start from 135, 140, 145, 150, and until 160. So, Ito guys, sa boss na to, madali lang naman to. What you need to do guys, when you're doing the tower, very important tip, kumuha kayo ng water flow and make sure to upgrade water flow. Because water flow is gonna increase your movement speed to 9.4 amount, okay? And that will make you like super fast and hindi ka matatamaan ng boss gamit ito. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. And you're just gonna, you're just basically gonna just, you know, spin around guys this circle. Ganyan lang gagawin nyo guys. It's very easy. Especially if you have big damage guys. You won't have to to actually, you know, just uh, it's not a problem for the boss. Kaya na matamaan kayo ng isang beses. As long as you're not gonna be one hit and you're just gonna move around guys. So, you know, move around lang kayo guys. Just very easy guys. Just make sure you have the, the damage and the HP to survive if you got hit by the boss. Pero yun nga guys. That's uh, one tip. Water flow is the is basically the key. It's the key 
to uh, finishing the tower. So, eh guys, skip muna tayo papuntang 140. Alright guys, dito, dito na tayo sa floor 140. Sa boss na to, he's gonna be summoning a lot of tornadoes. So, what you're gonna do is really have the skills to dodge the tornadoes. So, ang kailangan nyo gawin. So, I'm gonna make sure that I equip the double damage boost or the, the damage boost para mas malakas yung damage ko. And make sure you choose the right spells for this boss. So, ang gagawin mo lang talaga is, uh, again, you're just gonna circle around and make sure na hindi ka matatamaan sa skills na. Because um, later on, there you go, he's gonna be summoning a lot of tornadoes, guys. So, the tornadoes will be hard to dodge or difficult to dodge. And they deal a lot of damage as well. So, you just make sure that you dodge the tornadoes, guys. Because that is the main problem in his boss, no? There you go. He's, he's got me for like uh, one damage or one... Uh, oops, 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 oops. Okay, make sure you don't do that. You don't get stuck. And, um, yep, I think I'm gonna finish this boss. So, make sure you dodge, guys, just like that. No, kailangan nyo i-dodge yung mga boss dito, yung mga skills nila. Because their skills hurt a lot. Uh, nakikita nyo naman, I'm almost dead because of that, guys. But, um, yep, I think we're gonna be able to defeat the boss. And, there it is. Okay. So, let's move to floor 145. Alright, guys. And here we are at floor 145. Now, this boss... Is much easier than the other boss because ang, uh, what you're gonna do here is just gonna be um, same. You're just gonna be kiting the boss. You're just gonna run around and the boss skill. Yung skill niya dito is uh, tatalun siya sa yo. So magdadash yung ganyan pala dash. Okay. And then you're just gonna dodge that. That's easy peasy, guys. As long as you have the water flow buff passive, wala na talaga kayong pupublimahin, guys. Water flow is the key. Um, sa mga boss So you don't have to um, You don't have to really uh, Think about your HP no? I mean you do If you Even di kayo nakapag dodge Ng skill But um, As much as possible Just You know Just keep running Hindi naman kayo Madadamage nyan Importante dito is damage Kasi may timer ka din Kung kailan mo siya Mapapatay no? So the timer is very important guys Na matapos na yung Mapatay nyo yung boss Before the time runs out Okay So ito na guys And Boom Ah, uh, hello. And... Boom. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, we move on to floor 150. Okay, guys. Now, here at floor 150, this is... This boss is actually tough. This is really tough because you have to dodge um, the boss. At the same time, magsusomon siya ng mga birds. May, meron siyang dalawang birds na isusomon. And if you don't have the damage to defeat the boss right away, he will keep on summoning those birds and if you get hit, you're gonna die. Okay? So, to try natin guys if I can do it this time. So, let me see if I can defeat this boss this time. Well, I think we are dealing uh, damage though. So, medyo malakas ang ating damage. Now, be careful kung magsusomon na siya ng kanyang mga birds. For example, that one. So be careful, make sure not to get hit by those birds because those birds hurt, man. So what you do is you, you know, still just move around in circles. Ganyan pa rin gagawin nyo. You have to make sure na hindi kayo matamaan sa mga maliliit na birds na yan. Kasi malalaki, malalakas kasi yan, eh. Napakasakit ng damage yung mga ibon na yan, guys. They will, uh, they might actually one-hit you, guys, these little, little birds. So make sure... That you keep your distance again, uh, circle around, libot ka lang ng libot. That's the whole uh, strategy here, libot ka lang ng libot talaga. So now we have four birds, I think, or three birds na, na ano, um, sumusunod sa atin. But uh, yep, there you go, guys. There you go. That's the strategy for the bosses, guys. Just make sure you have the water flow. So let's move on to floor 155. Alright, guys, floor 155. So. Ah, uh, it's gonna be the same, guys. Uh, itong turtle na to, meron siyang skill na ibabaw to sa inyo na maraming mga, like, mga bato. <laughs> and, uh, what you just do is you dodge this turtle. Just keep your distance, uh, from this turtle, no? And then he's gonna be using that skill where he shoots, uh, rocks at you. Pero, ang gagawin nyo lang is you just keep on moving like this. And you should be able to dodge the skills, guys. You, you need, you just need to have enough damage, guys, para mapatay nyo siya within the time limit. So, so far, kaya ko naman siyang patayin, guys. Um, ang mahirap dito later on is gonna be the, the 160 boss. Kasi ang 160 boss, he has like a lot of HP. And I'm not sure if kaya natin siyang patayin sa, sa buff na meron natin ngayon. Natin, sa atin ngayon. Kasi we have like, um, we don't have like the golden buff right now. We don't have the level 5 buff in the tower. 
Pero ang meron tayo is mga purple buff. So, hindi ko alam kung kaya natin siyang gawin. Um, even this one, guys. We are dealing um, not quite a lot of damage here. But, pero kaya naman to. Kaya naman to. We still have 2 minutes to, to kill the boss. And half HP na siya. So, doable naman to. Doable. Um, ang, kaya, ang dapat na talagang problemahin natin. Oh, nag-cooldown yung, ano, yung spell. Grabe talaga yung ano, eternal spell. Meron siyang chance to cooldown 50%. Um, para mag cooldown siya ng uh, minus 50% guys sa kanyang cooldown So grabe guys um, Manlakas ng eternal spell Yan nag cooldown na naman yung eternal spell Oh my god man The eternal spell is really insane man Kasi nga malakas na Sobrang lakas na ng damage niya Meron pa siyang chance mag cooldown So we almost died over there guys Ang kailangan ko lang gawin muna is to dodge this uh, Reposition the boss We still have a minute so okay pa naman And then do it again, go in circles, and just deal damage to the boss. So, ang, ang ano dito, maganda dito is this boss has 100% boss damage. And um, since he cannot attack me, so useless pa rin yung buff niya, no? So, your damage output para sa boss na to is magiging malakas. Hindi ka tulad ng mga ibang boss na may mga weapon critical minus 50%, weapon damage minus 50%. So, yun. Kayang-kaya nyo to, guys. You, uh, this boss is very, very doable, guys. Pag uh, meron kayong water flow, and meron kayong enough damage to destroy the boss before the time, time runs out. So, yun nga, guys. Um, kukunin mo na natin yung buff. I really hope we get the, the level 5 buff, guys. Kasi kailangan natin yung level 5 na buff for the damage, man. Wala talaga. Wala tayong level 5 na buff. So, okay, guys. Move on tayo sa, left, sa floor 160. Oh, okay guys, we are now at floor 160 and it's the purple dragon guys. So I have the buff equipped dito na meron akong Blade Master 5, Weapon Master 5. So I think ang, ang, ano niya, ang buff niya is, uh, okay, our buff is about to be done. So mag-buff tayo ulit. So I think ang debuff niya is weapon, uh, weapon damage minus 50%. So let's go ahead and attempt to destroy this boss guys. So... Madali lang naman to guys kasi it's gonna be summoning uh, the water pumps. What you need to do is you're gonna be dodging that and after you nag-cash ng spell is you move right away para hindi ka ma-damage because this boss will one-shot you guys. So it's gonna be it's gonna be one-shotting you and I don't know guys kung kaya ko siya ngayon kasi do you see the damage that I am doing to him right now? I don't think I can defeat the boss right now kasi nga kulang tayo sa damage guys. And oops. Nakalimutan ko palang i-equip to. Oh my god. So, kailangan tayo din ng mga level 5 na buff kasi guys. Para matapos natin to. So, in order for you to defeat de defeat this boss, you gotta have the one uh, the, the level 5 buffs. And natalo ko na to guys eh, kagabi. Pero yun nga, nag-reset yung mga buff. So, but this is how you should fight this uh, boss guys. You just have to get again the water flow. And then you just have to just circle around. But you really need to have the damage guys. Because you can't defeat this boss. If you don't have the damage So right now guys Itatry ko siyang patayin Pero I don't know if I can really um, Maybe if I use like a spell buff here Spell um, tower buff the, the spell critical chance Maybe we can destroy this guy But I don't know So ngayon meron tayong 1 hour and Or 1 minute and 30 seconds Para patayin siya But uh, we are dealing uh, very low damage right now, man. Kailangan nating magano dito. Kailangan pa nating magkuha ng buff, guys. So maybe we can do this um, like uh, before the season ends para matapos natin to. Because I am pretty sure um, before the season end, which is like five days from now, six days from now, um, kayang kaya ko to siyang patayin, guys. Kayang kaya na talaga. Especially if I'm able to upgrade. Okay. But we can't do it anyway because we had to have uh, one minute over there, guys. So, alright, guys. Siguro babalikan ko tong boss na to, guys. But uh, there you go. That was a tip for you, guys. And I now have uh, seven weapons. Natalo ko na yun kagabi. But again, we're gonna do it again next time, guys. But I really wanna thank everyone, guys, for uh, watching the videos and liking the videos and sharing it to your friends as well. Make sure that you like this video. And again, if we reach 300 likes, I will be giving away one weapon each for five viewers, guys. So five weapons in total. So I hope you like the video, guys. Please like the video and don't forget to share. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. See you again on the next upload.